Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to GB Gaming. Today we are going to be continuing our Romulan brief let's play of Star Trek Armada 3 Nemesis. Uh, now in the last episode we didn't really meet a great deal of resistance. The only real resistance we've had whatsoever <clears throat> has been from those bleeding second order geezers. Look at them, here they are. Oh, you troublesome sausages. But other than that, we haven't really met a lot of resistance. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, if we find that we attain victory in this map too quickly, then we will cycle back to the Romulans uh, in a future brief series. There have been quite a few changes made since I actually started doing this series that I do want to explore in another one. So I think um, I'm not sure what race I'm going to look at next, possibly the Klingons. Uh, there haven't been that many changes to them, but I think enough to justify a second look at them. Uh, and it will give us the opportunity to have a look at some of the other changes that we have made in game um, for the release. But without further ado, I think uh, we may as well just kind of continue the episode and see what happens. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to see All if right. we can take out task force 12 here so let's take our fleet and see what's cracking uh we've got some research on the go at the moment we do have a couple of labs to come but we've got denatra here that we want and also the final dideradex refit which is quite important And you should see that when the Dideridex refit is done, the Dideridex itself will look a little bit different. And that'll be cool. Proceed, Centauri. This isn't an overly powerful fleet, I must admit. <clears throat> but because of the lack of resistance that we've received so far, I just think it's... Hello, Nebula. Are you going to run? Oh, Hello. That appears to be lacking a texture. Oh, there it is. It's popped in. Took a moment to load. Keep it steady. Is that the hollow fleet? Yes, it is. Don't really know what you're going to... Oh. Do you know what? I think we're going to ignore the probe. We're just going to let the probe do what it wants to do. And not concern ourselves. Denatra, oh look, uh, they've both been finished, which is great. So we'll have Denatra, and then we will have... I think we'll probably have Tactical Evasion first, so let's cancel that and redo it. Might be worth us going down the Titan line, because tit the Titans are something we want to look at. Whoop, 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 whoop. That is going directly we'll for one of the uh, Task Force 12's planets. Interesting. That might actually serve us well. <clears throat> right, let's see what we've got over here. Hello, Nebula. Yeah, there's really not a lot, is there? There's really not a lot. Research is complete. Uh, oh, look, yes, the upgraded to Deridex is now complete, so let's zoom in and take a peek. You can see that visually she's changed a little bit now. Slightly darker, deeper green, a little bit more kind of rusty almost. But she is more powerful. Looks like the Federation just aren't going to be putting up any fight here. Alright, let's keep this research train going. Excellent. More shields are always going to be beneficial to us. Look, we haven't, uh, we haven't got the final levels on either of those. Alert the crew. Bring all weapons to bear. Thank you. 
Yes, it's over far too fast for the Federation, I think. I can't remember what difficulty I put these guys on. But I would definitely concur that this is not being an ideal map type. It's probably a little bit too small, uh, a little bit too compact. But we do get to see all the shooty-shooty, which is, a, uh, I think, a positive thing. I'm hoping, if we do a bit of that, we're going to get Denatra soon. Oh, look, the rest of the fleet is coming back. Oh, this poor thing here, the Penring class colony ship. It's there, minding its own business, getting destroyed by the gladii and javelins. Our research is complete. Beautiful. One thing that I think it's probably fair to postulate that we're a little bit lacking on at the moment. Uh, let's just take a look at the Imperial Senate. Uh, we do need Telshiar surveillance. We haven't done a very good job on that. Because you can see that we're not really pushing our influence at all, and that's probably going to cause a problem. Alert the crew. Divert power to weapons. Probably. Let's take these area stations out. Are we pushing back influence at all? We are. Oh, that's good news. Our research is complete. More research complete, as always. But do we have an Anatra? Initiating warp. There we go. We do have Denatra now. Communications established, Commander. Go on. You go over there. Uh, engaging. I think the righteous cause is the way forward. Course set. Our ships have arrived. Leave nothing left. Seems something's gone horribly wrong with our strike craft. Oh, everything's disabled. That must have been the um engaging warp drive. Yes, that absolutely must have been the wub wub. And if the wub wub's been here, then uh, the times are good. <laughs> Get some more shielding power. Reinforcements have arrived. It is more brave to live than to die. Now, given it is more brave to live. Yes. Look at that. We're going to be able to colonize this world and then move forward. Continue onwards. Has Task Force 12 fallen? They have. We have successfully colonized. I had a feeling they were go they would have fallen at this point. We cannot, Commander. Although I did miss the notification because I'm a, I'm a fool of a took. Our research is Let's complete. Get a Ministry of Order up here, All and probably a Talshar listening post. When Denatra arrives, uh, we will push forward. Another thing that would be pertinent for us to do is see if we can get more capital ships. There we, we have are. engaged the enemy. Second order still don't meet, really seem to be making any uh, inroads to us, do they? Fighters reporting. Research is complete. Engaging warp drive. Get that Telshar listening post. Station complete. I think probably a trade forum as well. It is more brave to live than to die.
Tis more brave to live than to Let's move this Dominus class onwards and just see what's going on with the House of Nogra and indeed the Second Order. Is there any kind of movement? Because if there isn't, it's just a, a little disappointing, really, isn't it? <clears throat> right, one thing that we are going to want, doubtlessly, is this, the Scimitar Warbird Yard. Now, it doesn't just make the Scimitar anymore, which is why I want it. Because we should see... Now, we haven't actually made the icon for it yet. In fact, I think we have made the icon now, but we hadn't at the time that we uh, we started this playthrough. And if I change it now, then I won't be able to load back in. We do have uh, the... This is actually a singularity ship. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see that shortly. Denotra, I think, has arrived. So let's push forward, see what's going on. <clears throat> Now, it's going to cost us quite a bit to build the ship, I believe. Look at that, 9,500, 1,200, and 750. So it's going to take us a little bit to do that. I think given what's... Oh, oh. Oh, it's just Dukji Dukji. We're just going to uh, push forward. Right, let's see what's happening here. What is the request? Slow the game back down. The Wub Wub is clearly causing the Federation problems. Station complete. Station complete. Let's help our Federation friends out. So ultimately, this is going to be a problem for us. Now our ships quite clearly, a lot of them are going to be disabled a lot of the time, but we'll whittle it down over time. It, uh, not, no real damage happens, as you can see, so... So over time, that's going to whittle itself down. And I think we're actually, surprisingly, getting towards the point where we're going to be able to do what we want to do. Getting there. Nearly. Ships proving utterly useless. <laughs> now, the best ships to attack a whale probe are, of course, uh, siege vessels. Let's build one. But without the luxury of having built siege vessels, it's it's kind of worth ju us just doing it this way. Uh, yeah, you can see that over time you can whittle it down. It just takes your fleet and uh, uh, it's it's not worth engaging it in this way because if you were in a PvP situation and you were letting this happen to your fleet, you'd, well, you'd be stuffed, I think, just for want of a better word. God, that's a horrible noise sped up, isn't it? See that whale probes now got bored. Brave to live. That doesn't mean we should stop chasing it. Because <laughs> she's going to be a problem for our worlds if we're not careful. Oh, you foolish Federation lunatic. Oh, it's passing in front of the... Oh, excellent. Oh, it's been disabled. Report. Bring all weapons to bear. 
and we have built. The Praetor will be pleased. Here it is. It's quite clearly not a, not a jack egg, but uh, let's see if we can make use of it against someone. Impulse speed, Centurion. Nothing there to use it on. Hello. Power to engines. All energy to engines. It appears that the Klingons are having a bit of a go at the Cardassians over here. I'm starting to think Increase power to engine. that it might be wise to bring I'll our... Engines. Yes, yes, I do think it's going to be wise to bring the Singularity ship in. Let's see if we can we cannot command there. do everything that we possibly can in order to we help our world. There. It's not going to be enough. It's never going to be enough. But uh, it's important to try, isn't it? We cannot build there. Ships have arrived. We have engaged the enemy. I think that's a good amount of torpedo the turrets. Research is required. <laughs> we have the superior firepower. Proceed to coordinate. Apparently we've lost a cap ship, possibly probably because of, of this. That's very frustrating, isn't it? Anything that we can do with regards to turrets. Oh, the shockwave ship is actually close. Warp speed, Centurion. Don't do it. Course set. Red alert. The enemy starship is complete. Right, Increased here we go. Yellow alert. Now the question becomes here, are we going to be able to get the singularity detonated? Proceed, Centurion. Without being disabled. The Praetor will be pleased. She's probably going to get disabled initially. But given enough time, she'll be able to do what needs to be done. Where to? Initiate communications. Increase power to engines. My life. Let's just get the rest of the fleet attacking that. The Praetor will be pleased. Come on. This is going to destroy our trade for him, almost certainly. Oh, oh. Get her in as close as we can. She does need to be. Oh, she's disabled again. <laughs> shan't be long. It shan't be long, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like this station is nearly down. We're going to let the fleet mop everything else in this system up. Where are you going? Come back! We have engaged the enemy. What are you doing? That's not okay. Oh, she's just... <laughs> you sad. It's almost like it knew, isn't it? Is it leaving? Ah. I swear it knows. See how that fight turned out between the Klingons and Cardassians. Uh, it looks like they've chosen the Dominion. 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 <laughs> and Kern is about to get destroyed by a Chimera. 
Come on, Ascendant. Oh, Kern's running. No, he's not. He's going back in. We have successfully colonized. Oh, why are you attacking Kern? Oh, nearly. <laughs> Kern, you survivor. There goes Kern. Kern has left the battlefield, but more and more Klingon ships are coming in. I wonder how long the Ascendant will survive. Oh, it looks like there are... Uh, a Keldon is coming back in to the fray. And we know how strong they can be. Right, what's going on with this probe? Initiate communications. Right. Let's keep our eye on this. We're close enough now. And we will detonate as soon as we're able. Now, right now, the current effect of this isn't that dis dissimilar from the Shockwave ship. Uh, however, the, um, the visuals, I believe, we have done custom already. Come on. Come on. Whee! <laughs> now that should... Woof! And indeed has defeated the threat. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Premium service, problem solved. And indeed, we've colonised this world. We cannot, Commander. All hands to battle stations. So that is the new Singularity ship. Interesting that there's a Griffin class over here. We cannot. I wonder why there's a Griffin class over here. We cannot build there. We cannot build there. Get some mines in. Doing building build. those, you fools. Received. What are your orders? Oh, fine. Do what you want. Ah, looks like there's some more interesting things over here. We've got a Valdor Falcon class. There is a rogue Talshiar fleet here. Let's bring the fleet back. Swiftly and silently. Well, what we could do is we could make ourselves a... I'd actually like a Tavara. Station complete. Because they've got big banner bums. Uh, so let's grab a Tavara. Station complete. And I think... We lack the resources. Four Falcons seems appropriate. And I think Station a Harpy, complete. a Falcon and a Valdor will be trumped quite easily by a Tavara. Yes. Well, I certainly hope so, anyway. <laughs> Where to? Station complete. Swiftly and silently. All right, let's grab ourselves a listening post here. Our ships have arrived. Station complete. Complete. 
Are there any researchers that we should get? More shields are always good shields. And perhaps some amplified harmonics for our cannons. Station complete. I mean, I'm relatively satisfied at this point that we've got this in the bag. Research is complete. Station complete. Our research is complete. Proceed to coordinates. Pride of the Empire at your command. The Pride of the Empire is here. Suggestion. Let's see what she can do. Station complete. How may I serve? And we'll have the Tavara go into tactical assault mode once it arrives. Hello. None can hope to match us. Start with a harpy. Oh, I love this design, it's so cool. Station complete. Oh, there's the assault. <laughs> Perhaps we can make it a little bit more powerful by giving it some levels. It seems that somehow we managed to destroy the Falcon. Oh, no, we didn't. Pride of the Empire at your command. And she's level. Proceed to coordinate. Let's give her a little bit of a pride of the empire. And the rest of our fleet isn't too far off either. <clears throat> I think it's fair to suggest that, uh, in spite of the fact that there was only one ship versus three, it's got this in the bag. It's done so much damage.
I think the rest of the fleet are bound to be arriving within a couple of minutes. Interesting that there's a Klingon stalker class just sat there. Not that I'm concerned. That's it, there goes the Valdor. Love that little singularity uh, effect. Do not seek to command me. We cannot command her. Hey, stop hiding. <laughs> I think it knows you're here. Cascade sounds lovely. But I think it might also be nice to get another one of these. I haven't quite got enough resources at this point. Let's go. You can see that it gets more expensive each time as well. It's now 123,000. Uh, uh, sorry, 12,350 in order to uh, produce 1,560 uh, and 975. So each time you do produce uh, the Singularity ship, it's going to get more expensive for you. That is at least as a partial deterrent to what people were doing, which was just spamming the crap out of these. Which, while being a lovely tactic, is not ideal. Planetary research is complete. Course set. Right, one of you. Inform the Senate that victory will soon be ours. <laughs> it's not like the other. Like, where are you? We serve only the Tal Shiar. This is the one, the Tachyon scan. So, Proceed if we bring this order. by itself, engaging thrusters over here. Hopefully, it's going to be able to move at relatively decent speed. Yes, good old heavy defenders. Oh, it's been found <laughs> and killed. <laughs> yes, Commander. Well, let's see what we can do against the Klingons. Huh. Speaking of the Klingons, we have entered the coordinates. Station I've got a Vorcha. A Kavort. Stalkers. Goroths. Hole. And the Sword of Kaylees. Proceeding to destination. Stay here. Planetary research is complete. Well, let that work out where it's going. <coughs> Maybe we're going to have to break out the scimitar here. Yep, I think that's necessary. Warbird reporting. See if we can pull this thing into our clutches. On my way. Ah, she's turned around. That's a shame. Ooh, enemy scouts moving around everywhere. Predator classes over here. Yeah, it looks like the enemy have finally woken up. And with the sword of Gailey's here. We're going to try and kill that in the next episode. But I think that's actually all we've got time for today. God, I love this ship. This is Michael Wiley, the designer. This is fantastic. It's 
it's just got it's got reminiscence reminiscences yeah well it's got similarities to so many Klingon designs that we we know and love it's got that kind of like um, the Nerva kind of armor plating here it's got the overall kind of uh, head and beak shape possibly of the Nerva as well um, this bridge section well call it bridge section if you like slightly reminiscent of the Vocha the uh, back swept wings and uh, this kind of ventral plating here. Is it ventral? Uh, this plating here, it's got kind of a similar feel to uh, the way that the old Katingas used to. Oh, it's fantastic. Anyway, that's enough fanboying about his work. Uh... <laughs> This is going to be the end of the episode, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I, As I say, I don't think this is the ideal map. Uh, I really don't think this is the ideal map. However, um, I do want to continue with this until its conclusion. So um, I, will be, uh, I will be uploading episodes of this until we have finished this little playthrough. And then we're going to move on to another faction, uh, which I think I'll make a slightly larger map, slightly more difficult AI, uh, because I want to struggle. Um... And I don't feel like we've struggled in any way, shape or form here. We've just had it easy. It's kind of been spoon-fed to us. And anything that is spoon-fed to you uh, in a P PvE environment is a little bit disappointing. Especially if you've played against good PvP players. Or at least adequate PvP players. Um, it makes things a little bit stale. And stale is the last thing that I want. Uh, I, I really want to have a bit of a hard time. And I want to be able to test myself. So that's what's going to happen in the next one. It'll probably be Klingon. But uh, as I say, we will conclude this playthrough. Uh, I expect that I've got two to three more episodes. We have got a, a relatively decent fleet and with a scimitar as well. I think we're going to have a fairly overwhelming fleet for what currently seems to be rolling around. But that is for the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, even though it's not been the most exciting thing in the world. We uh, did show off the Singularity ship. We destroyed a Wub Wub with it. That was fun. Um, and we've finished off the feds because... Ladies and gentlemen, better dead than fed. I want to see that in the comments. Uh, if you like what you've seen, like, subscribe, share the video if you want. And uh, if you've got any questions about Nemesis and the changes that we're bringing along, stick them in the comments. I'll try and answer them for you. And all Bane will. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is The Gull, out.